Welcome back. In case you missed it, I'm Caduce, and this is Top Spin. Ever wonder what it's like to be at one of those big tennis events we see on TV? You know, behind the scenes, not the smile and wave for the camera stuff. Well, we gave one lucky fan the opportunity to do just that. We took her down to South Carolina, gave her a camera crew, and cut her loose. She got to meet all her favorite players, Jennifer Capriati, Venus and Serena, Lindsay Davenport, and nothing was off limits. Players, practice, courts, nothing. Take a look at what a WTA all-access pass gets you. Hello, world. I'm Brittany Mitchell here on Daniels Island, South Carolina, here at the Family Circle Cup. I'll be taking you on a behind-the-scenes tour. Interviews with the players, their dogs, and just about everything else that goes behind the scenes at Family Circle Cup. Why am I going blank? <laughs> Hold on, what are we doing again? Just between you and me, I'm a little nervous. Take two. You get to see it all with me, Brittany, your team host for today. Cut. <laughs> My favorite player would be the Williams sisters, because they play smart. Over here, we're on the practice court, watching Venus and Serena Williams practice. Serena Williams. I saw you practicing out there. How how often do you practice each day? Well, I practice about, um, I don't know if I'm playing a tournament, but if I'm close to a tournament, I try to practice, you know, six, seven days a week. But if not, I usually try to get five days a week. Now. Venus Williams, ultimate favorite. How has playing professional tennis affected your life? Um, basically, um, worked so hard when I was young hours and hours and hours mm -hmm. to be where I am today. So really, it's very rewarding. But at the same time, it's still a lot of work. <laughs> what interesting collections do you have? Well, what does Serena say? Olympic pin collection, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, no, I have an Olympic pin collection. They're like, you know, little pins from different countries, from different athletes. I used to have a sticker collection. can't find it. I heard you like interior designing. Basically, I like it because it's a lot like tennis. It's always changing. Each project is different. Each client is different. So each design challenge is different. Well, maybe I'll have you decorate my house when I get okay. over. <laughs> I'll come if you are. I will are. do it. <laughs> <laughs> Whose dog is this? We have Serena Williams' dog, Jackie. Hey, Jackie, how old are you? <laughs> wow, nice yawn, okay. <laughs> what exactly do you do with the dogs here at the Puppy Bark? Um, we just watch the dogs take care of them while the players are at practice. Anytime they just need to drop them off, we socialize them, um, just play with them while they're gone. What's going on behind the scenes? Right now we are watching Justine getting interviewed by the media here at Family Circle Cup. Hey! Being that you're not as tall as the other players are, what makes you so powerful? I just uh, believe in myself first. I believe in my, uh, in, my, in my power and I work pretty hard. I had to work hard because I'm not so tall. I need to be physically 100% of the time and that's what I did in the last uh, 12 months. I changed a little bit my mentality about that and that's working pretty good. Okay, what's your favorite surface? My favorite surface uh, stays the clay court for sure. That's uh, on clay that I uh, won my first uh, Grand Slam, but I improved a lot on hard court too, so I don't have a surface that I say I don't want to play there. So that's pretty good to be complete. How do you let go of frustration in a tough match? Ooh, uh, I think you just, you know, got to slow down and uh, really take some deep breaths, long breaths, and just take your time and, uh, you know, realize that, you know, it's just, it's just a match and it's just playing tennis here and it's not going to be the end of the world. And, uh, you know, just, just try to just focus on just hitting the ball instead of letting your mind think about too many other things. How do you let go of frustration in a match? Um, you know, a lot of times I wish I could just like snap a racket and, you know, get it all out. But unfortunately, I have more of the personality. Sometimes I'm a powder, which is a terrible, terrible trait to have. But I get a little 
feisty sometimes, but uh, got to try and get the positive energy flowing. That's most important in tennis. <laughs> America, I'm doing good. We have the four Ds, which is desire, determination, dedication, and discipline. Which of those four Ds do you think would be more, more su uh, successful to you? Um, desire, dedication, determination, and discipline. Mm -hmm. so, I think all of them, you have to have a desire to get somewhere. If you don't have a desire, then you know, you're not, hey, you don't want it. You have to be determined. I think determination for me, it's really important because you'll be determined to get to the ball, mm -hmm. determined to win, determined not to lose. They all are really, <laughs> you couldn't choose one or the other. It's important to try to have all of them. I think determination is a, is a great uh, quality to have. I mean, there's some days where it's just not clicking, but if you're determined and, and can kind of fight over the days where everything's not flowing so well, um, that, that's a great quality to have, I think. You need a mom. You need a mom probably a little bit more. And most of all, you have to do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> I can understand that. Do it, guys. Do, do it. it. Do it. <laughs> uh, what's that your CD player? Oh, my gosh. Um, I listen to a lot of my music on the computer, but my computer just crashed, and I'm pretty broken hearted because I had so much on there. <laughs> but um, right now, probably... Um, New Beck CD, New 311. You know, sometimes I'll like some punk rock or something like some Biscuit or then techno music, you know, I like to just go out and dance a little bit and of course, you know, hip hop and it just depends what mood I'm in. Um, what's on your CD player? Uh, Celine Dion, for sure. She, I'm a big fan of her. I went to Las Vegas and I, I met her in Spain and just great. My CD player? Um, a lot of Coldplay. I don't know why they've been around for a couple of years, but I can't get them out of it, my mind. Um, also have an Australian group called Jet that I got. Um, another group called Rooney that I just bought. It's been pretty good so far. Um, had strokes. Like mostly kind of rockish alternative music. Okay, no problem with that. Um, <laughs> What's in yours? No. <laughs> Venus Williams. Serena Williams. Jennifer Capriotti. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> Lindsay Davenport. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, nice to meet you. And Justine and the Arden. Hey, what can I say? We had a day, didn't we? Jump back, kiss yourself. <laughs> when Top Spin returns, we introduce you to a rising tennis star. Maria Sharapova is her name. Keep it locked right here.